This first part of the demonstration, I'm going to show you the remote FX media streaming improvements in Windows Server 2012. This is a LAN environment, no loss or latency introduced as yet. And on your left, you see a Windows 7 virtual machine. On the right is a Windows 8 virtual machine. Same configuration running off of the same Windows Server 2012 VDI server. What I'm going to do is play this video on the left and then on the right. Audio is coming through only from Windows 8. Pretty good experience all around, but let's take a look at the network bandwidth utilization. So you'll notice that we're taking somewhere between 38 to 42 to 47 megabits per second, depending on the portion of the video that is playing. Now, let me quickly pause Windows 7 and go back into Task Manager. Whoa! Do you notice the dramatic drop in bandwidth utilization with video playing only on your Windows 8 VDI? This is the power of Remote FX Media Streaming with our new inbox H.264 codec that we use for video content. It gives customers up to 90% bandwidth gains, and that is huge when it comes to real-world RDS deployments. Now, in the next portion of the demo, I'm going to introduce some loss and latency using my WAN emulator and show you a few workloads in terms of the WAN experience improvements we have with Remote FX in Windows Server 2012. I have my WAN emulator set up now to an intercontinental WAN link. This is about 250 milliseconds round trip latency, about 1% packet loss, and 2 megabits per second per client bandwidth. Let's ping both our VMs to make sure that we are running in this emulated WAN mode. And you'll see that I have about 250 milliseconds round trip latency on both the VMs. So with that, we go back to our side-by-side -side Windows 7 versus Windows 8 running on this emulated intercontinental WAN link. And the first thing I want to show you is a mixed images and text rich document, uh, a scenario that a number of your end users are going to be doing every day, scrolling through such a rich document. So I have PDF Reader and I'm going to invoke the auto scroll feature first on the left which is my Windows 7 VM and then on the right, which is my Windows 8 VM. Now, as you can see, Windows 8 is able to keep up and scroll the document, give you a pretty good experience with sharp text while progressively rendering the rich images that you see. This is a new technique that we have introduced in Remote FX in Windows Server 2012, where we send down the images step by step, starting from grainy to lossless, and at the same time have the ability to keep text really sharp, because that's what our customers have been telling us. Now, as you can see on the left, Windows 7 is really not able to keep up scrolling this document. So let's shut down PDF Reader and go back to YouTube video. Once again, on the left is Windows 7, on the right is Windows 8, and we are on this intercontinental WAN link with 250 milliseconds round trip time and 1% packet loss. Audio is muted on Windows 7, and I'm going to start the video first on Windows 7. And now, let's start it on Windows 8. As you can see, Windows 8 is able to keep up with a smooth, high frames per second media experience, whereas Windows 7 is skipping frames. There's really not a video experience on the left side. It's almost like a slideshow, and that is because Windows 7 was designed to be a LAN-only protocol and not deal with such constrained WAN conditions. 
However, on the right with Windows 8, you get a smooth media experience, you have good audio video synchronization, and overall a very, very usable and great user experience for remote FX users with Windows Server 2012. So that sums it up. You know, these are the WAN improvements, both bandwidth utilization that really matters for IT administrators provisioning VDI deployments, and great end user experiences with remote FX media streaming and WAN.